Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Well, good morning. Good morning. We are in Reese's Point, the most northern point in the United States on the Lake Champlain route. And we are preparing to go back to Canada. Oh, Woo! What we're going a long home. trip this has been, hey? Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't and, mean that in a bad way. <laughs> no, not at all. It's just, it, we have been home a couple of times into Canada without the boat, but this is the first time Stay Cool will be back in Canada since like August of 2022. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting for us to bring the boat back home. And uh, we bought her in Montreal. So we're actually going to go through Montreal. And so that's pretty cool to do that. Yeah. And uh, so we're really excited. Yeah. It's a, it's, let's hope everything goes smoothly at the border. It should. Yeah. But we're uh, looking forward to getting uh, this boat back into Canadian waters. Super exciting. Hope you're having a great day. Engines are started and we're ready to go. Hey, do you notice something missing from the front of the boat? We just took our American flag down a little while ago before entering Canada. We don't need it anymore. We had a fun time going through the States and uh, really enjoyable, but the flag's not going to be in the way now when I take pictures. in Canada again. Yay! Yeah. Got your documents? Yes. Okay, good luck, Captain. Thank you. Don't be my phone. So we just made a quick stop at Gosselin Marina along the Richelieu River on our way to the first lock. Uh, we just uh, wanted to pick up a part we needed for the boat and Malcolm had sourced it uh, here before we left the US actually. So he paid for it already. So we just had to pop in and pick it up and we'll be on our way again.
The Richelieu River is a major tributary to the St. Lawrence River. It flows down from Champlain Lake towards the St. Lawrence. This waterway was a key route of water transportation for trading, first by the Indigenous peoples and then between Canada and the United States. In the mid-19th century, rail lines were constructed and ultimately succeeded the waterways because of faster service with greater freight capacity. So we've arrived at the first lock. I believe it's lock nine, or actually at the bridge, the first bridge, which is, I think it's bridge 12 of the Chambly Canal. And uh, we've completed our entrance into Customs Canada, or back into our home country. And now we're at a floating dock in front of the, the bridge, which leads to the first lock. And the lock master came and talked to us a couple of times actually. Um, about going through. I think it's a small lock chamber. Um, so there's a boat in front of us. They want to go through tomorrow morning. And then there's us. And apparently we could go through this afternoon. They have two lockages during the week. One at 9 a.m., one at 1 p.m. Um, it's now around 11 or so. And a um, bunch of Canadian geese going over. It's a nice welcome home. <laughs> anyway, um, we're just waiting for a buddy boat to join us. And we may try to go through together if we both fit, which I think we will. But I think we need to go and either call 60 on VHF 68 to the lockmaster or just go up and talk to them. So we'll be doing that after our buddy boat arrives and uh, organizing when we go. So I'm not sure if we're stopping here tonight or we're going to keep going. Um, when you do this Chambly Canal, apparently you go all the way through to the first lock from 9 all the way up to 1 or down to 1. I think it must be going down. Uh, and it takes about three hours to do the set of locks. So uh, it looks like that's probably what we'll be doing, but uh, I'll let you know as soon as I find out. How was your experience going through uh, customs today? Uh, it's just a little confusing, but I guess not bad. <laughs> we pulled into a, uh, a boat dock, and it's the customs office on the water. Extremely rough, very wavy. Um, got in, got on the phone, which was sort of blowing, so it was hard to hear. Gave them the information, and then they said, thanks for the information. We'll finish this off when you tie up later on in the day, which I thought was confusing. So that's what we did. We left, and as we left, a customs agent showed up. We were there early this morning before anybody had been there. So we came to this uh, Lock 9 on the Richelieu River, which is part of Parks Canada, and we phoned them from here, and it was smooth as silk. Just talked through. Gave them some of the same information again, and we now have our reporting number, which basically makes us official into Canada, so we can step on Canadian soil and uh, do whatever we need to do. So it looks like it's working out for us to go through the lock today. There's a sailboat apparently on the other side of the bridge that has already requested to go through, and there's us and another looper boat, so the three of us are going to enter the lock very shortly. And first they have to raise the bridge, which you can see sort of in the distance there. It's a cantilever style bridge. So she's told us at 12.30 they're going to lift the bridge and we have to go through and then right into the lock. So it's a bit of a process and once we start we're going to go through locks 9 all the way down to lock 1. And it should take us probably about 4 hours or so. We should be all done probably around 5 o'clock-ish, 4.30, 5 o'clock. So let's see how this goes. The Chambly Canal, here we come.
the Chambly Canal was built right beside the Richelieu River. So you can see over there, it's the Richelieu River, and this canal is right here just for boaters to pass through and be able to go down some locks. Otherwise, you'd be on rapids, which are on the Richelieu. So it's really convenient for us pleasure boaters. The Chambly Canal National Historic Site offers a fascinating trip along the Richelieu River. The canal's nine locks, eight of which are still operated manually, as well as swing, rolling and lift bridges set the pace for this half-day excursion. The canal itself is located right next to the Richelieu River and bypasses the rapids, making the route passable for vessels.
the Chambly lock system, they actually give us their ropes and uh, that makes it nice and easy. They keep them out of the water, which is very nice for people using them, that you're not getting all slimy, yucky, dirty ropes. So I'll show you that. We've now done from nine down to four. There are three locks left. I believe there are a set of flight locks that'll take us right out to the river. So let's go and see how that looks. I bet it's pretty dramatic. very last lock of the Chambly Canal and we've gone down with uh, including us three boats they're very small locks and it doesn't take that long actually once they start emptying them but we go slowly when we're going in and there's a sailboat there you can see that in the background and that sailboat has a very large draft really too big to come through this canal and they've already touched bottom a couple of times and I hope they make it in here because we really want to go down <laughs> anyway it's a beautiful area I got a view from the flybridge and can't wait to walk around this town. So we've arrived at our destination. It's been a pretty long day, but we're super excited to be back in Canada. We are at the bottom of the Chambly Canal at the base of Lock 1. So we weren't expecting necessarily to do all of the locks today, but they were able to fit us in and uh, we thought we'd just take advantage of it since it's such a beautiful day. So we left Roos's Point in the United States, checked into Canada and carried on the Richelieu River all the way to the Chambly Canal and are now in Chambly in Quebec. And so we're going to go and explore the little town, maybe get some groceries and I hope an ice cream. <laughs> So we started at around, I think it was seven o'clock this morning and it's now about 5 p.m. So it's been uh, really hot, about 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 86 Fahrenheit. Uh, nice surprise, I guess, today, but uh, feeling like I just need something cool to eat and ice cream might just fit the bill. And we went 30.5 nautical miles, uh, not very far for that length of time, but it does take time to get through locks, of course. Uh, one of the vessels that was with us is a sailboat. You can see them in the distance there and they were actually a deeper draft than what was recommended for this canal. And a couple of times he actually touched the bottom when he was in one of the chambers or a couple of the chambers. So he made it through though, good for him. And uh, we're settled in for the night and uh, looking forward to seeing this little town. Fort Chambly was built of local stone between 1709 and 1711 on the Richelieu River, then named the Iroquois River. It was intended to protect New France from the English. Today it is run by Parks Canada and is designated a National Historic Site of Canada. Chambly is an off-island suburb of Greater Montreal in southwestern Quebec. It sits on the Richelieu River, just south of the St. Lawrence. 
Descendants of European immigrants have lived in Chambly since the 17th century. Samuel de Champlain passed through the area in 1609 and he noted the rapids and the terrain. Today it has a total population of over 31,000 and 87% speak French. Thank you.